Brick and drop repeats are very common in pattern design, and they are very easy to create in Symmetry Mill. Both brick and drop repeats use the same symmetry, simple shift, and they differ only in how the motifs are shifted relative to each other. So let's start by choosing the simple shift symmetry in the parameters panel, and in this case we get the straight repeat, also called square or full drop repeat. From here you can get the half drop repeat simply by shearing your control path vertically. You can get the brick repeat by shearing the control path horizontally. Let's do this step by step. When the cursor hovers over the upper side of the control path, it changes to the horizontal shear cursor. This gives you a hint that you can shear the control path by dragging the side to the left or to the right. So I click on the upper side and I drag it to the left or to the right. You can also straighten up the control path in between these. Of course you can do the same for the lower side of the control path where you get the same horizontal shear cursor. There, to the left, and to the right. Now when the pointer hovers over the left or right side of the control path, the cursor turns into the vertical shear cursor, telling you that this time you can shear the control path vertically, up or down, and create half drop repeats. And same for the left side. And a final touch, if you don't want boundaries between motifs, simply drag the horizontal and vertical blend sliders in the parameters panel and your pattern becomes seamless. So, the recipe for creating drop and brick repeats is simple. Use a simple shift symmetry, shear your control path, and smooth away any boundaries if needed.